and welcome to another booktube video from me Lauren from Lauren and the Books. I've just made David really jump. Oh, no, yeah. <laughs> um, today's video I'm sorting out these bookshelves as you can see I'm on my feet I'm dashing around I'm also got period pain so I'm not dashing quite as fast as I'd like to be. I have my bookshelves and I normally do this around this time of year where I have a little sort out take everything off give it a good old dust because it certainly needs it and decide what books I'm keeping, what books I'm not. Um, how these bookshelves work is that largely, anything I've read that's been a favourite of mine goes up here. I've got my Penguin Cloth Bound Classics and other sort of pretty looking books up here. And then majority, this is all unread. Now, that's not always the case, like I said, majority. So for instance, we've got an illustrated edition of Pride and Prejudice here, which whilst I uh, very much enjoy, isn't one of my favorite books, it doesn't deserve a space up there. Then I've got sort of sequels, so I've got the Book of Dust there, um, and then the other Book of Dust, so volume one and volume two. Where's volume three? Who knows when that is ever gonna come out to us. But I sort of hang on to these things until I've got the whole collection. Um, and then there's, yeah, a few books that I've read and don't feel happy to give away, but don't deserve a place up there. I'm just trying to find another one of those. <laughs> Disobedience by Naomi Alderman. Very much enjoyed it, but it's not one of my favourites. So, what I don't like is that I've now got piles of things on their sides. Lots of them. And I don't like that. And there is in total here, the books that are not on the shelves. Let's have a count together. 48 books that are on their side. So realistically, in order to fit those 48 in, we need to get rid of 48 off these shelves. Now, I already know there's things on here that I can get rid of. For example, this proof copy of The Night Shift by Jess Kidd, I now have a finished copy, so I don't need that. Even though this is a beautiful proof copy, um, I don't know that, I don't need that. And then there's gonna be books on these shelves that I've had for so long. This is another one. David kindly bought me this. Uh, one year, A Hundred Nasty Women of History by Hannah Jewell. Um, I read that and I'm, I'm probably never going to read it again, but I've been hanging on to it because David bought it for me, but I don't need it. So there we go. We're, there's two we've got rid of already. Um, so yeah, there are going to be books on here that I'm going to get rid of and they'll either go to a charity or my dad keeps promising that he's going to build me a community library. I haven't seen hide nor hair of that community library yet. Um, so yeah, so I need to have a little sort out. So I think I'm going to do this in colour sections. Do all of those. Hmm. The thing is, is that I also need to do my top section as well. Shall I do my top bit first? Shall I do my favourite section first? Because although like a lot of these books are still my favourite, not all of them are going to be. And also this isn't the safest area, particularly these books, which are spanning two shelves. So I need to have a sort out because also if there's books on here that I need to then fo need to factor into here because they're no longer my favourites but I don't want to get rid of, then that will add to the 48 I need to get rid of. So let's do the top shelves first. I'll go and get my little stool and um, I'll see you up there. Well, I'm up here and I think probably, no, maybe I will. Do I need David to pass them to? David? Yeah. Are you at a point where I could pass you things? Yes. <laughs> no, do you know what? Don't worry. Because it's going to take a long time. If I just pass you things and you put them on the table, then we can... Yeah, I'll don't, work them don't do all one by one up there. Yeah, well, you're just sat there waiting for me. Exactly. Right. They're not um, going on top of that. Yeah, good boy, good boy. Good boy. Not a good boy, not a good boy. Not a good boy. Opposite of good boy. Oh, did you just want me to wait here while you bring each one of these down one by one? Yeah, that's what I wanted to do. <laughs> oh, no chance. But lucky, I realised that that wasn't the thing that we were doing. Oh, that is lucky. God, there's so many already. These can go. Cherry. No, oh, no, not L and D. Oh. That's me and you, my babes. You need a H and W. What? That's been a wife. Oh. That's like, what? Yeah. Henry and Winifred. <laughs> no, I'm going to go this way because I think it'll be less turning. <laughs> <laughs> Rather than going all the way around. Oh, no, you just oh, don't sorry. dust up my nose. Last two, and then you're free to do what you want. Oh, thanks. Right, I'm going to wipe these down, take off this 
washi tape, which at some point <laughs> was strapping something down. It is so dusty up there. We do have quite a dusty house, don't you think, mm, David? A very dusty house. But yeah, I'm gonna get on with this. She's got them all down. She's wiped, she's disinfectanted. Disinfectanted. And now she's just having a little polish before we put them up. We put the favourites back up there. Now the good news is, I've got rid of four books from my favourite shelf, which is sort of unheard of, really. And then I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, which have been demoted down to enjoyed but need to go back on there. So instead of getting rid of forty-eight books, well, forty-six because I've got rid of two, I now need to get rid of sixty-two from these shelves, and I'm going to put up all the other ones back up here and show you how that is. Then we're gonna start on the red books. Yay. Just realized I absolutely should have done a before and after. I'm quite pleased with how it's gone. So I've only got these lot on their sides up there now. Ones that are on the top shelf don't adhere to the side ones. Then there's favorite paperbacks into favorite hardbacks into landscape favorite hardbacks into unread and read cloth bound classics with like a little space here actually. So yeah, that looks pretty good. I do feel pleased knowing that that's actually been dusted up there as well. Yeah, pleased with myself. I am gonna take a photo of it now for the before and after. So I think the next section I'm going to do is red and yes, I am wearing a crown because I am a princess. I'm also gonna take down, I've got lots of like little bits sort of around that have just gathered dust so my little pom-poms can go, but these little things are gonna go back, but I'm gonna take the reds off and work out what, out of, what I needed out of them. 66 I needed to get rid of, or was it 68? We'll say 68. 68 I need to get rid of. Or simply read. <laughs> Maybe I could add some of these to my TBL for next month. Yeah, let's do that. I'm not gonna do this for every section, but just to give you an idea of some of the books that I'm getting rid of. So from the red section, I've actually got rid of five, so I'm very pleased about that. Um, the first one is Sex, Robots and Vegan Meat, Adventures at the Frontier of Birth, Food, Sex and Death. Um, I had the hardback copy of this, then I've got the paperback copy of this. I never reach for it. And because it's sort of like about inventions and things that go and I feel like it would date quite quickly so I'm gonna get rid of that <sighs> then daily rituals um, which I thought would be great um, and uh, is about the women's famous women's daily rituals but I tried getting into it and couldn't and then have since heard from some people that it's quite boring um, the power by Naomi Alderman a book that I very much enjoyed but in order to make space on these shelves I know my sister also has a copy of this so if I do want to reread it I can borrow my sister's um, a collection of um, poetry called She Is Fierce by Anna Sampson. Brave, bold and beautiful poems by women. Again, I'm just never reaching for this. And then lastly, uh, Queer, A Graphic History by Meg John Barker and Julia Scheel. Um, another book that I've, I've flicked through but never reached for. So they're all going. So that's five. Feeling quite pleased about that. Just need to wait for that to dry so I can polish it. And then put those ones back on. I still think... The amount of red books I've got to fit in there though, still involves some going on their side. So I also need to get rid of some orange ones to fit it all in, but the orange pile on its side, that big pile. Hurrah to me, I've just got rid of another 10 books. So that's, oh, Still a bit damp, I can't put that up. So these aren't the books I've got rid of, these are the books I'm putting back on the shelves. Um, but yeah, just got rid of another 10 books, so that's uh, 15 in total out of 68. We're going, we still, still need 53, but we're getting there. Um, I've started putting back on my little bits as well, so I've got like a little candle with uh, a naked bum. Um, I've got this, <laughs> this always makes me feel so... I can't remember why I've got this, but this is a little bear that I remember one of my sister's school friends when she was in primary school buying for me. I don't know if we were like looking after something while they were on holiday. I don't remember looking after like a pet or something while we were on holiday, but like I got bought that and it's always just taken me and I just think it's so cute. Um, and then these two that David won for me um, in 
in the slot machines at Margate. Might have been Herne Bay actually. And they just stay there because they're red themed, aren't they? Red little chips and burger. Um, yeah, they could probably go back in now. So I'm gonna put the orange paperbacks in. So what I've tried to do as well is I'm trying to go sort of hardback, bigger paperbacks, 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 bigger um, paperbacks, hardbacks, so that it's sort of got some level of flow. Um, but let's see. I could fit a little, oh no, that one, they could go in there. And I'm also keeping an eye out for books that I might want to read next month as well. Maybe like romancy type things as it's February and all. Yeah. I will keep this because I would like to read this at some point. It was published in 2019 though. There we go. Right, okay. Then, oh, now I've got another one here. Yeah, I do want to keep this. Barchester Towers. Um, oh, I'm not even on screen. <laughs> Barchester Towers by Anthony Trollope. Because um, I've heard that the... The series itself is very good, so that's the second in the series. I need to get my hands on the first one. Um, and a bigger paperback. Um, I've had a rethink about the, the books that have been demoted. Sounds awful. I mean, they're still really good books, but they're just not books I would consider my favourites of favourites. And I need to sort of be working with those and putting them into the shelves as they go so i've got a orangey colored one here which is loving color by bolu babalola which i'm actually listening to bolu's new novel which i very much enjoyed and i very much enjoyed this as well and then playing bad heroines by emily m danforth which is a massive um yellow hardback so i'm going to put that in there thing is, is there's just not enough arms for all this and then i need to fit the Oh, well I can't put that in there. So I'm going to put this in here is what I meant to say. So that's going to go in there. Oh, it's probably a bit more red actually. Okay. We're going to put the red, put that one back in there. And then I'm going to move the red stuff up so I can fit that in. Oh, that can go there. And then that can go in there. Perfect. Put those little bits there for the minute. There we go. So I've got rid of 10 yellow books, which I'm pleased about. I say got rid of, as in eight are going to charity or the community library. One's been added to my TBR next month, which is Heartsick by Jessie Stevens. Um, this came out in February last year, um, and this is three true stories about falling in love. Um, and I thought that would be perfect for fe um, February. So that's going on the old TBR. And then my cousin Rachel was also in amongst those. Um, and that belongs up there with me, Daphne du Maurier faves. So that's being upgraded. Up she goes. And then as I said, I've got rid of eight, so waiting for that to dry, then I can put my yellow ones back on. It's going swimming now. Only four books got rid of in the green section, which seems little compared to lots in the other sections, but that now brings me up to 25 books I've got rid of and I need to get rid of 68 so and I'm not halfway there yet oh I probably have, no this is probably halfway there isn't it so yeah by this point hopefully I would like to have got rid of 68 34 so next blue ones need to get rid of nine at least but there's lots of blue ones so yeah and just an idea of the ones that I'm getting rid of from the green section I've got the guest cat by Takashi Hirade I've read this and I won't read it again so enjoyed it um this is a proof copy of Elizabeth Day's novel um The Party from 2017 um and I've recently watched Mercedes video whereby she was talking about books that she owns that if she ever does get around to reading them she'll get them out from the library my library will definitely have this book if I ever get around to reading it I will get it out from the library Wild Girls by Rory Power, same sort of thing about that, I've seen that in my library. And then um, Ali Smith Spring, which I um, whilst enjoyed, I think if I revisit this series, um, I would do so via audiobook because I've listened to the audiobooks and enjoyed them. So that's four getting rid of. Let's get these green ones back on the shelves. Oh, you can't see it. 
I can't bother to stand up. We're definitely catching up. Look at this gap. It was massive. It was almost like a whole shelf. We've caught up with that. So, yeah, I actually realised that although I said 25 books, um, one I've put on my TBR for next month and um, another one went up there. So it's actually 27 books I've got rid of. So, um, yeah, I need to get rid of... Oh, that is so bad. Seven um, by here, which I reckon is definitely, definitely doable. Right, let's clear out these blue boys. Great news, 19 blue books I've got rid of. Plus, this one's going on my TBR for next month. Let me know in your home. It is a collection of stories about female friendship, and that, to me, is love. So, that's 20 extra books. So, I've forgotten the number I was on before, so I'm gonna count them here while I'm there. Uh, so, 20, plus the other two, so 22, 23, 24, 25, 28. So, I need to get 20 more. It's going very well. I'm very, very pleased. Let me put this on my TBR, and then I'm gonna restack the blue shelves. <laughs> I've just done a whole bit which uh, I wasn't recording so basically I said still got this little space. Um, <laughs> that's annoying isn't it David? Um, still got this space but I'm very pleased with how it's going like I said I've got rid of 48 books. Now we're onto the purple books, and the purple books include this little cute purple candle that Mercedes bought me of a little dumpy cat, plus this bit of artwork um, that David's sister got me of a cat, uh, which I should get framed really. So I'm gonna move these purple ones out. There's not as many purple as there were others. So let's see how we get on with that. I wonder how many of those we'll get rid of. I'm so pleased with how it's going. You proud of me, David? I'm very proud of you, but I'm always proud of you. Always proud of me. I've got a whole shelf, well, I've still got purple books to put on there, but like we've, we've caught up with ourselves, I think. Um, I've just wiped it, which is why I can't put any books on there at the moment. But I've got rid of four purple books, um, which means that we're now up to 52 books. So I think I'm gonna go way above my 68 that I wanted to get rid of, so I'm pleased with that. I'll tell you one gross thing though, Found a bit of Minnie's uh, hairball behind there, so that's nice, isn't it? She gets behind here, like when we've got the sofa in front of here in the summer setup, she jumps and runs alongside and sometimes has a little sleep and sometimes, occasionally, has a little puke. <laughs> so that was nice. It was dry. It was like a fossil. <laughs> it was that dry. Um, I'm going to take these pink ones down just while I'm waiting for that to dry so I can put the purple ones on. Oh, but yeah, I'm pleased with how it's going. I simply can't get rid of this because my niece loves to play with this when it comes around, when she comes around, so. I got rid of eight pink books, um, which brings it up to, what were we on? 58. No. 51? 52, which brings it up to 60. And then I've added this to my TBR for next month, an Olive Grove in Ends by M uh, Moses McKenzie. So it's a debut, it came out in April 2022. And it says it's a dazzling debut novel about love, community and dreams deferred by an exciting new literary voice. And it sounds great. It's about a young black man in Bristol. Um, and he wants to give the people he loves a world, a house atop a grand hill in the most affluent area of the city, a home in which they can forever find joy and safety. So there. But after an altercation in which a boy is killed, Sion finds his loyalties torn and his dream of a better life in peril. So yeah, I thought it sounds like an interesting take on a sort of novel that is all about love. So there we go. I've stopped listening to my audio book now and I've started listening to Self Esteem's album, which by the way, I love. I'm trying to listen to a bit more modern music, because my music tastes are very much Kate Nash <laughs> from when I was younger. Um, and there's much, much more music around. So I've been listening to Self Esteem's album, Prioritise Pleasure, and having a lovely time with it. I really like her, uh, Rebecca Lucy Taylor. She was on um, the Taskmaster New Year's Tree, and she was on um, House of Games about a couple of months ago. Um, but I'm very into her, I follow her on Instagram. 
and I really like it a lot. Shall I carry on putting these pink books on here? I might stop. David, would you object to me stopping and finishing it tomorrow? Do whatever you want, bub. I just feel very tired. I need to make a note that I've got 61 books. Maybe I'll go until I've got 68 and then I'll know anything extra as a bonus. Yeah, I think I'll do that. So let me carry on putting the pink ones on. Although this is still a bit damp. Let's just start on this side and see if I can get rid of seven more books. The Matrix, I want to keep that by Lauren Groff. Book of Difficult Fruit by Kate Lebo. Do you know what? I might get rid of this because I really like this, but I think the finished book of this is beautiful and has lovely illustration so I might buy myself that or put it on my Christmas list um I'm still hanging on to these um mirror visitors uh no they're not they are called the mirror visitor by Christelle Dubois um the the what do you call four books the four book series um translated from French because I keep thinking if I ever go to my parents house in France I'd like to take all four of them and read them so I'm still hanging on to them Normal People, the scripts. I would like to hang on to that as well. It's got some nice artwork in there. Uh, Wolf Song by Chi J. Clue. I'd like to hang on to that as well. Memoirs of an Ex-Prom Queen. I'm not really that into that, so that's that. Just need five more now. Seven by Fazana Doctor. I really want to hold on to that because I really want to read it. Uh, now we're into the white ones. Move those up. Move those up. So I need five more. Free Love by Tessa Hadley. Still really want to read that. Kate Atkinson, A God in Ruins. This is probably the book that has been on my shelves the longest. I remember buying this. Oh, do you know what? It was only published in 2015. So it definitely isn't the book. That's been, well, it's, it's definitely one of the books that's been on the shelf the longest. So it's been on there seven years because I remember buying this for one of my first ever book hauls I did. I really, really loved Life After Life. And I keep meaning to read this. She's got to pick it up at some point, guys. Black Tudors by Miranda Kaufman. Would really like to read that. Um, here we go. We're getting into it. Trainwreck by Sadie Doyle. Do I want this? I don't know that I do. I think this is very much of its, like, of its time. It's still very relevant, but I think it was written a while ago, and I imagine there's more sort of feminist works out since then. Yeah, this is from 2016. I think I'm going to get rid of it. I just don't think I'm going to get around to reading it. Dance Move by Wendy Erskine. This came out last February. Oh, yeah, I want to keep this. This is a um, new collection of short stories from an author in Belfast, and I will probably pick this up for the Irish Readathon. We still need four more. When Hitler Stole Pink Rabbit. Definitely keeping that. It's adorable. What have we got up here? The End We Start From by Megan Hunter. This is... Sounds like a climate change novel or collection of stories. I'm going to hang on to that. House Opposite by Barbara Noel. Really excited to read that. The Bewitching by Jill Dawson. This came out last July. It's about witches. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of that. I don't think I'm going to read that. Salt Slow by Julia Armfield. I'm about to read... Um, our Wives Under the Sea by Julia Armfield, and if I were to get rid of this and then love that, I'll be devastated, won't I? Spring, an anthology for the change in seasons. I think I'll get rid of that. Two, four, five, so two more. Deeds Not Word by Helen Pankhurst. I will get around to reading that at some point. Ali Smith, The Accidental. That I can definitely get out from the library if I need it. White Oleander by Janet Fitch. That is something that Mercedes bought me years ago, and I still really want to read it. Flesh of the Peach by Helen McClory. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of that. So two, four, six, seven. That's it. I've done it. So up until this point, and I'm gonna put that like that, I've got rid of all the books that I need to get rid of. So I just need to finish off sprucing, and then I will start on that from tomorrow and finish my white books, go into my grey books and black books, and yeah. And David's got this little section, which um, oh, also I'm gonna get rid of all my Harry Potter stuff. I'd sort of been hanging on to it but not reading it. Um, I got rid of a lot of Harry Potter. Stuff like my Lego and all of my sort of t-shirts and pajamas and stuff but I've been hanging on to the book hoping that JK Rowling was gonna say she was really wrong and really sorry and she really regretted everything she'd said and she was wrong but she hasn't done that and I've just got a vibe she ain't gonna so I'm gonna get rid of all my Harry Potter books <laughs> anyone else done the same who knows um I was feel nervous saying things like that because I know it invites a bit of backlash but I just don't agree with her views on 
a lot of stuff but mainly on trans people trans women in particular um so yeah let's call it a day here i'm going to stock these ones i won't do that on camera um and then i'll see you tomorrow to finish this off and i think i'll be in a pink outfit tomorrow so shall i click myself in okay bye it worked and i remembered to click myself in now we're back to where we were, so it's Saturday now, as I said, and I'm in pink. Um, just washed my hair. David and I have had a lovely, lovely clean of the house this morning, and it actually feels gorgeous, like, it feels really, really nice. So, I'm going to carry on where I left off, which is where I put this book, but last night when I was putting stuff together, I realised that I'd neglected this massive pile, well, massive, three, six, nine, ten books were just down here just languishing now I've got a feeling a lot of these are my favorites anyway so I need to factor them into the upstairs sh shelf so girl woman other that is a favorite of mine oh actually this isn't this Laura let me this snow falling on cedars so that needs to go into the black section um oh this is a notebook they're, they're not all books this is a lovely notebook have I written anything in here Maybe there's things I wanted to buy, but yeah, lovely little notebook there, so that can go. Um, this is Food Anatomy, this is one of my favourites. I actually bought this for David, but I love this. This is a, well, like a non-fiction book about food, um, told in a sort of graphic novel type way. It's very, very enjoyable. Our Rainbow Queen is another book that I very much enjoy. It's a, a, a book about all the Queen's different outfits. I wonder if there's been a bit of a surge in this since she died. Oh, okay, these aren't ones that I've read. So this is, these are the words... Um, which is a collection of uh, poetry which came out in August this year by Nikita Gill um, yeah that needs to go back on the shelves that's silver so that can go in the grey section <coughs> luckily not all of this has happened oh and another one this is a um, this is a oh my god what are these called Persephone book uh, Cheerful Weather for the Wedding by Julia Strachey that's got a grey spine so that needs to go in there as well and of Green Gables, which is one of my faves, so that needs to go up on the faves shelf. Queenie, which is another one of my faves, which needs to go up on the shelf. And then another copy of Big Bones, which I need to put up on the shelf. So there we go. Need to factor those in and need to sort this out. So that needs to go there. Then let's just do these bits and then we'll get back to it, shall we? So. This skirt, which is a sort of denim midi length thing well it's not ideal for doing this sort of thing I can barely stand up and get back down again I've just got rid of eight um, books eight white books but because we'd already started I need to do a little shift along because I need to factor in the half backs here so as a, a uh, yesterday I got rid of 68 books which was the amount of books I wanted to get rid of so anything I get rid of extra is a bonus and just makes for space for more things um, oh no I need to put in big paperbacks there there we go and then paperbacks lovely and then we're on to the greys Just the two greys I've got rid of, so in keeping with me getting rid of Spring by Ali Smith, I've also got rid of Winter by Ali Smith, and Grief is a Thing with Feathers by Max Porter, which I've read um, and probably will not revisit. So let's go and pull that. The only thing is, and I wonder if I should give myself this, sorry, that's David just playing a bit of FIFA there. These are my um, Persephone books. Um, every time I see a second-hand Persephone book, I buy it. I've, one of these I've got as a gift. I've bought a Persephone book in Persephone and I've never read any. If I haven't read them, by the end of the year, they're going because they need to go to a better home, someone who's actually going to read them. <sighs> but hopefully, I'll read some this year. Let's put them on the shelves. We're on to the last section, so I'm going to sort out the black books live for you as a last hurrah. Let's go for it. So we've got... Oh, Atlanta, actually, Atlanta's, that's, Atlanta is an orange book, <laughs> so I need to put Atlanta up there, so that needs to go there. 
Secret Line of Life of Church Ladies, very much enjoyed that, that's staying. Tidal Zone, these are ones that were on my favourite shelf which have been slightly demoted. Uh, the Opposite of Butterfly Hunting, very much enjoyed. Tag Your Dead by Catherine Foxfield. A night fueled by adrenaline and fear and the whole world is watching. I don't know, David might like that. I'll ask him, but I don't think I'll read that. Oh, Glass Town, which I very much enjoyed by Isabel Greenberg, that's staying. And Frank's Diary, enjoyed that too. Um, Renegade Women in Film and TV. David bought this for me last year for Christmas, as in 2021, so I need to get around to reading that. Oh, Michaela Cole, Misfits, I need to read that still. God, we haven't got rid of anything yet. Um, the Seven Husbands of Evelyn for Hugo, I really want to read that. Walk in the Lights, a novel by Deborah Andrews. It's by Freight Books, who don't publish books anymore. Oh, this is set in 90s Britain, and at some point this year I would like to do a sort of like 90s readathon, she says, in a midi denim skirt. Um, so I'd like to do that. Oh, Daughter of the Forest, I really want to read that this year as well. Um, period Queen, life hack your cycle and own your period all month long. This, do you know what? Let's keep it. Things Bright and Beautiful by Ambara Salam. I got this from a lush book club. I don't think I'm going to read that, so that can go. Um, Surge by Jay Bernard, it's a, a poetry book that was shortlisted for uh, the Costa Book Awards in 2019. I think I'll get rid of that as well. Uh, Sean he Hewitt, Tongues of Fire, another poetry collection. No, I think I'll get rid of that too. Um, the Harpy by Megan Hunter. Oh, I've been meaning to read this. This came out in 2022 and it's about something... So Lucy and her husband, Jake, I think it is, uh, Lucy finds out that Jake's been having an affair, but they decide to stay uh, together. But Jake decides that, uh, but they decide that Lucy will hurt Jake three times. And oh, I don't know if I can handle it, actually. It sounds a bit suspenseful. No, I don't think I can. Get rid of that. <laughs> Glass Down by Celia Reese. This is another one that I keep meaning to read as well. Yeah. Hang on to that. Another Daphne de Maurier that I would like to read, House on the Strand. Oh, we've got a little pile of books behind here. Oh, these are all books that belong to other people, so I need to hang on to those and find out if uh, the other people still want them. Oh, God, then we've got some that have slipped down. Oh, no. What's up, love? Well, I thought we'd sorted them all, but we've got some that have slipped down. The Virago Book of Witches, going to hang on to that for, I like to dip in and out of that at, at Halloween. Inferno, a memoir by Catherine Cho. This is about a woman who goes to the US to introduce her new son to her family and she has a sort of breakdown. Um, exploration of psychosis and motherhood at once intensely personal. Yet yeah, holding within it, yeah, I don't think I'm going to read that. Still Like an Artist, I've read that, that can go. Tipping the Velvet by Sarah Waters, I'd like to hang on to that. And then we've got here, Snow Falling on Cedars, that's my cousin Laura's, and I will hang on to that because I will read it, but maybe in winter. This is Locks, a novel by Ashley Nugent. This is a coming-of-age comedy of errors. This, is, this isn't even out yet, this is out in June this year. Um, I would like to read that. Promise Boys, I would also like to read. I've, I've seen that appear on a lot of... Um, like best books, the books to look forward to in 2023, so would like to read that. Which is Steeped in Gold by Sian and Smart, would like to hang on to that for witch reading. Secret History by Donna Tarr, I keep thinking I would like to reread The Secret History, um, but I guess I could get it out from the library if I do get around to that, so there we go. Palmares by Gail Jones, would also like to read that as well. And then we're going into, we're getting to the end of it guys we are getting there then we're into sort of David stuff and getting rid of my Harry Potter stuff as well right Ghosted by Jen Ashworth really want to read that Attica Lock Heaven My Home I've read the first in the series of that enjoyed it need to read the next one Bad Days A Homosexual History would also really like to read this this is um, Ship of Thesis by VM Stracker which is actually written by JJ Abrams and Doug Dorse this is my cousin Laura's as well so that will get read at some point actually that could probably go in the grey books so that can go there Milk and Honey by Rupee Court I'd like to see what all the fuss is about the Island Will Be Their Joe, oh, The Trial by Laura Bates. I've got a feeling I started reading this, but didn't love it. Now, I'm going to hang on to it because I do love Laura Bates' writing. Gap in Time by Jeanette Winterson. This is one of the first ever books I remember buying. Well, actually, I bought this on my first ever sort of like booktube meetup. I met Brittany in Edinburgh and we met up with Jean and they were doing three for two in Blackwells, as they do. And I remember buying that and I would like to read that. These Bodies of Water, Notes on the British Empire, the Middle East and Where We Meet. would also like to read that. Paulina and Fran, I think this is set in the 90s. Uh, 
It's about female friendship, so I would be into that. The Bell Jar by Sylvia Plath. I think I can probably get rid of that because I think if I do reread it, I will get it out from the library. Shuggy Bane by Douglas Stewart. I've read this and really enjoyed it. And I think if I was to reread it again, I'd probably revisit it by audio, so that can go. Girl Meets Boy by Ali Smith. Don't think I'm going to get around to reading that. Bad Girls Never Say Die. This is from the author of Moxie by Jennifer Matthew. I did enjoy Moxie, the film. Yeah, let's hope. Oh, it's a fee. It's a We're definitely keeping this. It's a gender flipped reimagining of The Outsiders, which I read when I was at school. The Young Team by um, Graham Armstrong. This is very much this is in the sort of like gritty Glasgow group uh, gangs. Yeah, I'm going to hang on to that. Oh, A Paragon by Colin McCann. I remember hearing Graham Norton talking about this book and him saying it was absolutely amazing. But I think I'll probably get it out from the library if I'm going to. And then Circus of Wonders by Elizabeth McNeil. I'm still yet to read anything by Elizabeth McNeil. I must sort that out. So there we go. We got rid of two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven black books. Potentially this one as well, because if David doesn't want it, I'll get rid of it. And then the only other thing that I want to get rid of is my Harry Potter books that I've been hanging on to, as I said yesterday, hoping that JK Rowling would see the error of her ways. She has not seen the error of her ways. In fact, she's got worse, I would say. So they're all going to the charity shop. Ooh, so heavy, so heavy. And these. And then that's it. I guess I need to restack these and then I'll show you the beautiful end of it all. So there we go, a two day job, but I'm actually very, very pleased with how it looks. It looks lovely. Look, all of these lovely lined up and all of these lined up and all of this lined up. I wonder how long it will stay like this, but thank you very much for joining me for the zhuzh up and I'll see you all again soon for another booktube video. Goodbye.